And I'm just going to list these off right now, and then we're going to go through one by one and make the correlation so that we understand, okay? Um, Philip is Capricorn. James is Sagittarius. John is Scorpio. Bartholomew is Libra. James of Alpheus is Virgo. Thaddeus, Lebius is Leo. Judas Iscariot is Cancer. No, he's not Scorpio. He's Cancer. Gemini is Thomas. Simon the Canaanite is Taurus. Simon Peter is Aries. Andrew is Pisces. Matthew is Aquarius. And then we're back to Philippian Capricorn. So how do we assign these appropriately? First and foremost, we have to go to the Tetramorph because the Tetramorph is going to immediately establish two of these disciples that Jesus has called in to two signs, and there's no question about it. When we look at Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, those are the four, uh, the, the Gospels, right? Mark was not uh, called as a disciple. As far as Jesus calling him into the one of the 12, he was not. Mark was not and Luke was not. Mark and Luke, not part of that 12. This is the, called the Tetramorph. So therefore, you see the four fixed signs of the Zodiac, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. This is the four fixed signs of the Zodiac. This is your Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, and Taurus. Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, and Taurus. So we have Matthew is Aquarius. Mark is the lion, Leo. The ox is Luke, which is Taurus. And the eagle is John. The eagle is also known as the Scorpio, uh, Scorpion. It's also known as the Phoenix. And we'll cover that in just a second. So Mark and Luke are not in there. So, we, so now we're going to have to assign Leo and Taurus to, to two of those disciples. But we already know that Matthew is the, is the man, is the Aquarius, and John is the eagle, which is also Scorpio. St. Matthew is known as Aquarius. This is John, who's the Scorpio, Scorpio slash eagle. He's usually shown as an eagle, and we'll cover why he's, he's an eagle, why he's represented as the eagle as we move on. The Scorpio is associated with three different animals, and this is well known, well known. It's not, a, you know, this isn't some force fit or anything like that. The Scorpio is associated with three different animals, the scorpion, um, the eagle, the phoenix, sometimes the snake, but uh, a lot of times the, the, well, the Scorpio and the eagle, and we'll cover those two specific ones today. So St. Johnny Boy there, that's Scorpio. Matthew is Aquarius, and we'll revisit this, but um, so, so there, we already have two of the signs assigned. So now let's start from the beginning, and then let's go through this one by one, and we'll make all the correct correlations, okay? And we're gonna, we're gonna go through them just as Jesus called it out, okay? So now the names of the 12 apostles are these. The first, Simon, but Simon's not called Simon. Who is called Peter? Simon Peter is Aries. In the New Testament from Greek, the Hebrew name Shimon, Simon means he has heard. You take the R away from heard, and what do you have? Head. What is your ears? They're on your head, right? So you have Simon, literally, number one, being called the first one. This is the first one that he calls. Jesus is like Simon, who is called Peter. First one he calls Simon, Peter. It's the first one he calls. That's in Mark. Let's go to Luke. Who's the first one he calls? Simon, Peter. Then the entire church is built off what? Simon, Peter. Why? Because he's the Aries. He's the rock. He's the lamb. He's the, the head. The Greek symbol Psi, so Simon, Simon. The Greek symbol Psi it represents the discipline of psychology is because the root and origin of the word is the Greek form psychologia. Simon, he's surnamed Peter, size, the Greek letter, uh, resembles the trident, means the psyche, the mind. Peter is derived from stone. Well, Jesus is the cornerstone. He's the stone. The entire church was built off that. What do we always want to do? Arise, Aries, arose. We want to get to the top. There's Simon Peter for you. He's the foundation of the church, the rock, the Petra, the Peter. It goes on to say that Simon had a brother named Andrew. Who's Andrew? He's Pisces, who's right next to Aries. Aries, Pisces. Why is Andrew known as the two fishes of Pisces? Well, the, the context of the Bible gives you loads of references to this. Mark 1.16, it says uh, something, something, something. Simon and Andrew, his brother, were casting a net into the sea for they were fishers. Matthew 4.18 says essentially the same thing. Simon and Andrew, his brother, cast a net into the sea. They were casting the net for they were fishers. We just established Simon Peter being Aries, the rock, right? He has heard the head. Who's right next to Simon Peter? His brother. You actually see pictures of Andrew, brother of Simon. So one of his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, said unto him, There is a lad here which hath five barley loaves and two small fishes. So you even see, you know, he's even got two fish there, right? So, and then, so uh, these are the, this is the chapters, Matthew 4, 18, and Andrew, his brother, casting a net into the sea. They were fishers, etc. So there you have the brothers, they're right next to each other. So now you have Simon, Simon Peter, and you have Andrew, his brother. Let's go to James, the son of Zebedee, 
and John, his brother. Number one, we already know what John is because of the tetramorph. The tetramorph already assigns who John is. That's Scorpio. John is the eagle or the Scorpio. Those are two interchangeable signs. We'll show you that in just a second. Those two brothers are called the sons of thunder. Fiery preachers or Boanerges. Boanerges means fiery preachers. It even says, Simon, he surnamed Peter, that head, and then James, the son of De Zebedee, and John, his brother, and he surnamed them Boanerges, which is the sons of thunder. So they're giving you all these this different context so you can make the appropriate connection. So they're giving you Boanerges and sons of thunder in reference to John and James. John is the Scorpio. He's the eagle in the Tetramorph. So we already know who he is. So let's go to James, his brother. James is known once again. They're fiery preachers. They're Boanerges. is the sons of thunder. Sagittarius is the constellation that's right by John, right by Scorpio, Scorpio and Sagittarius, they're brothers. Sagittarius is a fire sign. They are called fiery preachers. The house of Sagittarius is the house of Jupiter slash Zeus. And what did Jupiter and Zeus hold? Thunderbolt. They were fiery in a fire sign. The house of that is Jupiter slash Zeus. That's the, the, the ruling planet of that house is Jupiter. And Zeus is holding a thunderbolt. Now they were fiery preachers. Boanerges, or the sons of thunder. I'll show you this in just a second. Where they're pointing to in the sky here is where the Milky Way actually crosses the ecliptic. And what's there is this cloudy mass of stars. And which it's like, basically, it looks like a big cloud. And so it's like, well, what do big masses of clouds bring? Thunderbolts, th you know, thunder and lightning, that sort of stuff. We already know that St. Gianni boy, St. John is Scorpio, that eagle, because of the tetramorph. His brother is Sagittarius. Why? Because Sagittarius and Scorpio are the two constellations that point to that cloudy mass of stars called the Milky Way. Both of those signs point to what would be considered the center of the Milky Way. So here you have the connection of the brothers. Those two are paired in the sky to literally point to the center of, just naturally, to the point to the center of the, the Milky Way. So Boanerges means fiery preacher. Sagittarius is a fire sign. The, the zodiacal sign of Sagittarius is the planet Jupiter. Jupiter is what? Zeus. What is Zeus doing? Carrying a thunderbolt because they are the sons of thunder. Let's put this whole thing together. Once again, Zeus, Jupiter, thunderbolts, Greco-Roman mythology, they're one and the same. It is often held to that Zeus is thunderbolt. It is often held to represent the eagle. What's John? He's Scorpio, but what else is he? He's an eagle correct? Well, why is, why is he a Scorpio and why is he an eagle? Why is there this differentiation? Because it's necessary information for you to make the, the correct connections. So here you have Zeus, Jupiter, the thunderbolt, and that thunderbolt is held by an eagle. So when you look at this place in the sky, so there's your center of the Milky Way. There's the brothers, John and James. They're the sons of thunders, the bow and the fiery preachers. You see there, there's Zeus slash Jupiter, house of Sag. He's got a thunderbolt, but he's also got that bird. That's that's an eagle. And the, there's a bird named Aquila that's actually holding that thunderbolt. What is that thunderbolt? It's Sagitta. What's the eagle? It's Aquila. Aquila is literally considered an eagle. So here you have an eagle and a Sagitta, which is the thunderbolt. Everybody see that? So in this sense, those two are mating. The eagle is mating with the thunderbolt in this sort of sense. Of course, this is all just celestial mythology. It's not like a literal thing. So, the and what do you have? Them producing what? The sons of thunder, John and James, which point to the center of the Milky Way. So, let's move on. Now, let's go to, so Peter, Andrew, James, John, let's go to Philip. So, Philip is Capricorn. Now, the name Philip means fond of horses or horse lover. And Capricorn is right next to the specific constellation named Aquellus uh, or horse. Aquellus is, you can see right there, there's Capricorn. This is who we're assigning Philip to. Right above Capricorn is what? A horse. But that's not it. So if you look actually at all the constellations that are surrounded by Capricorn, they're all representations of horses. There's Capricorn, who's Philip, fond of horses, horse lover. If you look to the left, what is there? It's a winged horse named Pegasus. Now you go about, uh, let's say about 10 o'clock there or something like that. What do you get? Aquellus, which is what? A horse. Okay, now go to the right of Philip, Capricorn. What is there? Sagittarius, which is what? A man, horse slash man, dude. <laughs> right? So Philip is fond of horses. He's a horse lover. He's literally surrounded by horses. Let's move on. Peter, Andrew, James, John, Philip, Bartholomew. 
Bartholomew. Let's look at Bartholomew. Who's Bartholomew? Bartholomew means son of a farmer, abounding in furrows. So son of a farmer, abounding in furrows. Furrows is a long, narrow trench made in the ground by a plow, especially for planting seeds or for irrigation. His name is saying, I'm a son of a farmer. I'm dealing with plowing fields and planting crops. He's the son of a plowman and he's planting crops. So you guys know who Boötes is. Boötes is literally considered the plowman. He's considered the plowman. He's the farmer. So there's Boötes. Once again, look at that line that goes straight through straight through Boötes and goes right to what? Libra. Bartholomew means the son of a farmer, not the farmer itself, literally the son of a farmer. Who is the child of Boötes? We'll just follow the line straight right to the to the ecliptic. Libra. He's not the farmer. He's not Boötes. He's the son of a farmer, which means what? Well, there you have Boötes, which is the farmer. And who did the Boötes mate with in order, in this sense, celestially, in order to make Libra? Well, it's Virgo, because Virgo has the shaft of wheat. She's with the with the farmer, the plowman in the field. And where does that does that line? It goes straight up, right to your ecliptic, right to what? Bartholomew, Libra. Let's go to Thomas, who's Tammy boy. This one is super simple. Well, what's Thomas's name? Thomas comes from the Hebrew word ta- taum, meaning twin. <laughs> I don't really think we need to even expand on or expound on this anymore, right? Okay, his name means twin. If you were going to point out a twin in the constellation or in the zodiac, what would that be? Obviously, Gemini. Now we got Philip, Bartholomew, Thomas, Matthew the publican. Who's Matthew? Well, we already know who Matthew is because Matthew was established by the tetramorph. And that's Aquarius. James is next. Philip, Bartholomew, Thomas, Matthew, James. James, the son of Alphaeus. This name Alphaeus is also a reference to, so here's your related names. Um, There's Alphaeus. And Alphaeus is a reference to Clopas or Cleophas in the Bible. Alphaeus, I think is how you say that. Alphaeus is a direct connection to what? Clopas or Cleophas. You can look this up. It's, you know, it's a bunch of different places you can find this. There is only one mention of this in the Bible, Clopas or Cleophas. Clopas is mentioned only in John 19.25 in relation to someone named Mary. Then there's only one verse where this person is mentioned. That verse is John 19.25. And what is that verse littered with? Mary's. All day long. Mary, 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 Mary. Now there stood by the cross of Jesus his mother, Mary, and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Cleophas, and Mary Magdalene. That's a lot of Marys. Alphaeus, which means a reference to Cleophas, Clopas, means traverse, change, or exchange. This is Virgo. Virgo is a mutable sign. And what does Alphaeus mean? It means to traverse, change, or exchange. What does mutable mean? That's exactly what mutable means. To mutate in this sense, right? So in the in the zodiac, you're given um, cardinal fixed and mutable. And cardinal is when you're um, entering into the new season. So they're all they're all separated. Cardinal fixed mutable. Cardinal fixed mutable. Cardinal fixed mutable. Cardinal fixed mutable. When you go to into um, the cardinal, you're entering into a season. Then you're in the middle of that season of the four seasons. And what is it? It's fixed. Then you move out of that season. What is it? It's mutating. It's morphing. It's changing. It's mutable. Well, Virgo is a mutable sign. The only place that you can even get any sort of reference to what this means, who it is, is one place in the Bible. And where is that? Mary's all day long. What is Mary? Uh, It's the Virgo. Even the sign of Virgo is what? It's an M to represent Mary. And then what's what's connected there? It's the Jesus fish. You can see it. It's Mary, Jesus fish. So now we go to James, the son of Alphaeus, and Lebius, whose surname is also Thaddeus. He's also known as Judas. So Lebius, who's Lebius? Thaddeus, Judas. Lebius, whose surname was Thaddeus, Lebius means a man of heart, courageous, or a young lion. Of course, what is the constellation? Leo, Leo the lion. His name is Judas, Thaddeus, and Lebius. All three names he's, he's called in the Bible. Lebius translate as heart child, and Thaddeus means breast child. What's in your breastplate? Your heart. Thaddeus was a gentle soul with a tender, childlike heart. Also called Judas. Well, do you know what another form of the word Judas is? It's Judah. What is Judah? It's the Lion of Judah. So let's keep a a moving on. 
So Simon the Canaanite is Taurus. Simon is called Simon the Canaanite. Once again, they're giving you multiple different explanations or, or uh, descriptors of this guy. So you can make the right, right correlations. Simon is known as the Canaanite, but he's also known as the Zelotes or the Zealot, Simon the Zealot. He's one of the most obscure among the apostles of Jesus. Simon the Zealot or Simon the Canaanite was one of the most obscure apostles of Jesus. Okay, well, first and foremost... When we talk about being zealous or a zealot, what is it? It's a person who is fanatical and uncompromising in pursuit of their religious, political, or other ideals. What does bullheaded mean? Essentially that. Determined in an obstinate and unthinking way. Canaanites worshipped the god Baal, okay? Which was Baal, Moloch is essentially the same god, different, different names. Baal is portrayed as a man with the head of horns and a bull. So the Canaanites worshipped a taurine god, a Taurus bull-headed god. Bunch of different, and many people have showed this before, is like, oh, they're sacrificing child children to Moloch, who's literally called Baal. This is one of the verses, and I forget what this is. Oh, 1 Kings 18.26, and this says, They took the bullock. What's a young bullock? It's a young bull, a castrated bull, a steer, a bullocky. And they took the bullock, which was given them, and they dressed it and called on the name of Baal. Simon was a Canaanite. Then he's what? He became a zealot. He became uncompromising in his beliefs because what? Well, he became a disciple of Christ. Here you have Simon the zealot, Simon the Canaanite. And what do the Canaanites worship? They worship the bull. Now, the other thing that is interesting about Simon is that he was recognized to be sawed in half. Well, look at the constellation of Taurus. The Taurus is, all you really have in Taurus is the, the bull horns. But what is what does it happen? It's like a separation. It's a split. Not only that, What's happening at this point of the year? This is June 20, siderally, siderally, what's happening right here? It's June 21st. It's the summer solstice. What's happening at the summer solstice? The year is being cut in half. This side of the year, this side of the year. So there's a picture of Simon the Zealot. Now look at the bull's head. What does it look like? It's like a head that's being like cut in this sense. They're like bull horns, but what could you say? There's like a split here. Also, what is that, what is the upper half of the circle. Well, it's half a circle. What's happening siderally in this part of the year? The year's being cut in half. What does Taurus, the fanatics of Taurus, and at least in English, what is it? Whether this is just a weird connection or not, it's Taurus, as in to tore or rip in two, to Taurus. There's the split of the year. There's the split of Taurus. And who is he? He's Simon the Zealot, who is Simon the, Simon the Canaanite. They worshiped bulls. So that leaves... One last one, and that is Judas Iscariot. There's only one last sign, and that's cancer. Judas Iscariot, it says specifically that he sold out Jesus for 30 pieces of silver. What's the 30? This is the 30 degrees of each sign of the zodiac. There's 30 degrees. 12 times 30 is what? 360. So he sold Jesus out for 30 pieces of silver. What is silver a representation of? The moon. What's the ruling house of cancer? What is, the, what is the, the sign of cancer? What's the planet that's assigned to it? The moon. Judas is assigned to cancer. Cancer is a disease caused by uncontrolled division of abnormal cells. But what cancer, and it actually the, the second definition there says a practice or phenomenon perceived to be evil or destructive. The etymology or the, the archaic definition of it means to split. It means to cut, to split. What was Judas? He was the only one that was cut from the original 12. He was the only one that split off from the original 12. He was the only one that actually presented evil and a destructive force within the 12. Correct? The ruling house of cancer, its ruling planet is the moon. The 30 pieces of silver of the moon. Cancer to cut, to split, destructive, evil, sold for 30 pieces, silver of the moon. What's the ruling house of cancer? It's the moon. And there you have it, ladies and germs. Aries, Simon Peter. He's the head. He's the Aries, right? He's the Peter. He's the rock. He is. He has heard. Simon the Canaanite. He was a Canaanite. He worshiped, they worshiped bulls. Then he became a zealot because he's bullheaded. Cuts the year in half. Splits everything. Was sawed in half. Thomas. Thomas. What does Thomas mean? It means twin. What is he? He's the Gemini. Judas Iscariot literally sold 30 pieces of silver. Silver's the moon. The planet, the sign to cancer is the moon. That's your silver. He was the evil and destructive force within the 12. Thaddeus, what's Thaddeus? Thaddeus, Judas, and um, Labius all means what? Courageous, young lion, man of heart. 
James of Alphaeus, what, is it, what does Alphaeus mean? Alphaeus means Clopas, Cleophas. That's a direct reference to all of the Marys. 19, John 19, 25. Mary, 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 Mary. All Marys. The Virgo, the Mary. Bartholomew. Who's Bartholomew? The son of a farmer. The son of a farmer. Who is he a son of? Virgo? Buotes. What's right there? Boom, Bartholomew. John is Scorpio. We know John is the Scorpio. He's the eagle. Why is he the eagle? Because of Aquila and Sagitta mating, making the sons of thunder. And John is also known as the Scorpio because of the tetramorph. James is his brother for the same reason. Sagittarius, he's the fire sign. He's Zeus. Jupiter has got the thunderbolt. And he's the brother of John. And those two point to the center of that cloudy part of the Milky Way that's got all the thunderbolts. That's what th- that's what big clouds bring, thunderbolts and lightning. And we go to Philip. Philip is a lover of horses. He's fond of horses. And who is he surrounded by? He's got Pegasus right here. He's got Aquellus right there. He's got Sagittarius right here. He's surrounded by horses. Then we go to Matthew. Matthew is Aquarius. Why? Because of the Tetramorph. Tells us right away. Then we get to Andrew. And what is he? He's a fisher of men. He's a fisher of men. He's a brother of Simon Peter. And he carries around two fish. And there you have it. There's your 12 disciples of the Zodiac.